Welcome to another Pixlet tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to look at the text tool and text styles and the drawing tool to enhance this image of some fruit and vegetables. So I've already duplicated the background, so not uh, in order to preserve the original. And I'm going to create some text. So I'm going to click the text tool. Drop it about here, just move the box around and label this as carrots. If you don't know what font you want, you can just go down the list till you find something that you like. So I'm just going to select that text, make it a bit bigger so it stands out. I can move it around because I'm still editing it and that move tool is there, changing the color to white and you can change the style and then OK. Now it is looking a bit washed out there so I can now add some layer styles and what I mean by layer styles are shadows. So we need to have that layer highlighted and then once you do that you You select the layer styles options and then you have all these different shadows. So if I wanted a drop shadow to appear on that carrots text, as soon as I select drop shadow, whatever the current defaults are will be applied to that text. Now it's not quite there. So if you select that, now you've got all your options for changing those shadows. It's black and I think I'll be happy with leaving it black. Um, I could change the, uh, the color to uh, a color from the image and maybe make it one of the darker oranges so it stands out. Like this color. And once you select the color from the image, then you've got some various degrees of that color. But that's not quite distinct enough, so I'd go back to the black. So you have different palettes to select your colors from. And then you can fiddle around with the opacity, or like at 100%, and the distance. I want to move it a bit closer to the actual text itself and the size. So you can just make it a fairly uh, blurry shadow. So I want that at zero. And change the angle so I can move it around. I want it to go there and then OK. So at least you can see it now. So there are different types of layer styles that you can use. There are inner shadows. And now I've applied an inner shadow and a drop shop and a drop shadow on that same text. I could delete the drop shadow and just have the inner shadow. So if I wanted to label another part of this image, then I really need to do a new layout for that. If I select the text tool and go to label the grapes, and now I want to go back and, and amend and edit the carrots, I want to move it, select the move tool, I can't touch that anymore because it's already put it on a different layer. So if I want to edit the carrots, then I have to make sure that that's selected. Now I'm working on the grapes layer. So again, you could move it around. If you want to edit it, make sure you're in that. Select the text tool and then click on the existing word. If I didn't do that, if I selected the text tool and clicked here, then it's going to start a new piece of text. So if you want to edit the existing text, click there as you click the text tool. So I can change the color again for that one. Keep the same fonts, keep the same style. Oops. Select the move tool to move it. And then again, go with the layer styles and perhaps look at a different one this time, the inner globe. And it's set at blue at the moment. So you can experiment with different colors 
and see what they look like. So perhaps the white and the inner glow. To me, it's not very effective, so you know, I don't use that one. The outer glow, depending on the color you choose, and the size can just make a nice you know, little you know, fuzzy shape behind it, as long as I pick the right color. So perhaps with the white there. That one makes that stand out, so it's the outer glow, and then OK. So the layer styles are used to enhance your text. They can also enhance shapes as well. So, for example, we'll put in a new layer, and this one's going to be the title. And I'm going to use shape for that. So we're going to use the drawing tool. And probably a rounded rectangle tool. And the color, I'm going to select the color from the image. And I can either pick something from here or use the color picker so I think something quite light so perhaps that color pink this one so I want my shape to be filled with that color and I want the border to be black and perhaps a little bit bigger than that and let's draw up the top here a little label now once I've drawn that shape, I can't edit it, I can't extend it, I can't make those edges bigger or change the borders, I'm stuck with it. I can move it, selecting the move tool, but I cannot change it. So you have to get the dimensions right the first time. If I don't like it, I'm simply going to drag that layer to the trash, then try again. Shape tool. And this time, perhaps the square and go all the way across. You've got to remember to change the color of the shape before you draw it. You can change the opacity, but not once you put it down. So, again, fiddle about with it till you get it right. Now, if I wanted to do the shape on the same layer, it's not letting me add a shape. At the moment because once you've got text on a layer if you want to then do anything else to that layer you have to do what's called rasterize it make the layer editable now I don't really want to do that I'm going to put the shape on it a new layer so doing that I can now put a shape and I want it to be half the opacity I want it to be black which is sort of just like a shadow. Then I can move it and then put some text in there. So even on the same layer, I can either put the text on that same layer and start to put the text here and give it a title, Fruit Market. And it would need to be readable, so we'll make it white. And move it down put it into the middle and then I can attach the layer styles to that that layer selected select the layer style maybe the drop shadow again but not black this time and pick this green once you adjust it the greens too too light, I need to change that to something a bit darker. Too dark, you can't see it. So, trying to get the right color for the shadow can take some getting used to. It could be orange. That's a bit better. So, I can move them, I can move that around. 
I can move that because I'm still as long as you select the layer. But that's how you use text and layer styles and shapes to build up an image. Emphasis is one of the best ways of using the shapes tool. So if I selected a new layer and pick the shapes tool and did a line this time, take the opacity up to 100 and select color and the green. And you can draw a line to emphasize. Move it, select the move tool, move it up. Just so you have a delineation between the, the title and the rest of the image. If that wasn't big enough, again, you just use the undo tool, uh, edit undo, or use the history tool to remove it, move the layer, put a new one in. Shape tool, line, a bit thicker than that. Make it black. And then you can also, with that, that uh, line tool, put shadows onto that. So I've just put a drop shadow onto that. That could be maybe a white. So you can emphasize shapes in the drawing tool and any text as well with layer styles. So that's all for this video.